There we are. Well, let me be a little more mathematical, and for those that want the true mathematical reasons why negative times negative is positive, it's hidden behind the scenes in this argument, let me give it to you. One begins by listing the rules of arithmetic that one thinks should be true. For example, we've already established that we'd like to think that a times b is the same as b times a. We have a reason to believe that's true for positive counting numbers, so we'd like to extend that law to negative numbers as well. Many people like to believe that anything times zero is also zero. And they also like to believe that you can expand brackets. What I mean by that, if I've got a times b plus c, I could say this is a c plus a, uh, whoops, sorry, a, a b, excuse me, plus a c. All right, if you choose, and there was an if, to believe these three rules, then the math will force you to say that negative times negative is a positive number. Now these are the rules that are really at play behind my rectangle argument. I just didn't make them explicit, but let me make a very explicit argument again. Let's look at negative 3 times negative 5, and let me show you directly those rules force me to say positive 15. Okay, first of all, this middle rule. You have to say, if you believe it, that negative 3 times 0 is 0. Let me write that 0 in a funky way. Let me write that as 5 plus negative 5. That would still have to be 0. I've really not changed anything in that previous line. Well, if you believe in expanding brackets, you have to say the left-hand side of this line is actually negative 3 times 5 plus negative 3 times negative 5. And it would still have to equal 0. It's just the same as the previous line. Well, now there's my mystery object. Not quite sure what that is. But negative 3 times 5, 5 groups of negative 3 if I switch it around, if you believe that first rule, there it is. You'd say this is negative 15 plus something scary is 0. But look at that. What's the math telling me? Negative 15 plus something is 0. This guy, that is this guy, better be positive 15. These three rules of arithmetic, if you believe to accept them, force us to say negative times negative is positive. And that's the true mathematical reason why this is the case. Now, if you choose not to believe these rules, that's fine. You will invent a different kind of mathematics. In fact, in the 1920s, with the development of quantum mechanics, folks had to use a new system of mathematics to let go of this commutative rule. So in quantum mechanics, some of these rules are out of the window. That's fine. It's a new type of math. And in that math, negative times negative is probably not positive. But in the mathematics we like to give our students in high school and in grade school, they like to say these rules are true. Well, as a pure logical consequence, out comes this consequence. Negative times negative is positive. And that's the truth.